Hey, what's up? Black Ball Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 1993 TV special A Flintstone Family Christmas. So this is 23 minutes, very quick. It has its commercial breaks because it was the 30 minute long special back in 93 when it came out. Um, the Flintstones was always, has always been an interesting property to me. I like the Flintstones a lot. I don't love the Flintstones. I, I like the Flintstones a lot because of the nostalgia, because everybody from various generations have loved it. So I find a nostalgia by proxy, if you will. The 90s um, live action films I loved. I, I do love that. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit the, the Flintstones property at one point. I just never liked the physics of it. I never liked the not historically accurate of it. Like, if they're from the Stone Age, right, why are there dinosaurs walking around with them, right? Why do, do they have telephones, but powered by animals kind of a thing? Why is their religion talked about certain things, but it's not a thing? Religion only became a thing the last few thousand years. You know, human, humanity has been around for 300, 400, 500,000 years in various stages. Like... So, like, the the realistic aspect of the Flintstones always annoyed me. But the nostalgic, cartoony shenanigans, the yabba dabba doos, the foot-powered cars, you know, things. Certain things I've always enter been entertained with. Dino being their pet dinosaur. I've, I've been entertained with certain things. I like watching Wilma with a, a, a hammer and a chisel knocking out... Uh, Christmas star ornaments out of quartz, you know, I things like they live in bedrock, so it's a it's a quarry place, and like it's a stone town. Like I appreciate the the aesthetic of it. It's just certain things of the Flintstones have always not annoyed me. It's just I've never been a true diehard fan of theirs because of those little things. So, with that being said, um, this was a flash forward sequel kind of story where you have Pebble and Bam Bam, Pebbles and Bam Bam, all grown up, have their own kids. They live in Holly Rock, coming back to Bedrock for the Christmas season. And it's neat. It's neat having them as adults. You know, you're so used to seeing Pebbles and Bam Bam as, as kids. So having them as grown ups with their own kids, having Wilma, Flint, Wilma, Fred, uh, Barney and Betty, the Rubbles and the Flintstones, who are now together a family because Pebbles and Bam Bam are together now a family. Having them all grandparents be there for the grandkids' first Christmas, I thought that was cute. It was a cute thing. Um, but then the story about that as well is that there's this foster kid that they're fostering for the Christmas season um, called Stoney who's been in and out of the foster system and all these things, right? He held up Fred and, and, and Barney for the Christmas Tyrannosaurus uh, or Pterodactyl something dinner that they were trying to get and so they kind of make a deal that they'll keep him for the christmas season and then he learns the ways of family and stuff and it's cute and, and you know he carves out of soap in, in prison as they go to in the jail cell a star for fred so I, it's a neat learning the meaning of christmas learning the meaning of together learning the meaning of family i liked it i like the aesthetic of the show i like the um meaning i like how fast it was i i would have liked to see more adult pebble Pebbles and Bam Bam, you know, being parents, I thought that would have been neat. I'm sure there's other Flintstones property projects where they are older and have their own kids and stuff, but I'm not familiar with the full Flintstones franchise. Um, it's just the timeline doesn't make sense, and that's what's always annoyed me about it, but it is what it is. It's a cute Christmas special, a Flintstone family Christmas. On to the next review. Shmahalo.